Brent, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So, uh, first off, welcome to St. Pete. Um, Thank you. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna love the city. Hey, first off, what what made you now? Where are you, you guys are located in Ohio? Is that where you are? Based in Cleveland, Ohio. Correct. Cleveland? Okay. Uh, cool. But our yeah, but our portfolio expands beyond Cleveland here throughout Ohio, and uh, a good portion of our assets happen to be in Florida. It is. No, I was looking at your website. It's, it's very impressive. So tell Thank us you. tell us about the transaction in the Warehouse Arts District and tell us what, you, what you'd like to do with it. Sure. So uh, we've branded the project Seaboard Crossing. Okay. Uh, it's a four-building, uh, approximate 50,000-square-foot uh, mixed-use industrial complex. Uh, currently, we have three tenants in place. One is uh, a local well-known company, Pocket Store Fixtures. Sure. Uh, we have a production and printing company in there, as well as uh, on the corner of Fifth Half South and 25th Street, the Chelsea St. Pete, which is a very unique coffee shop that I highly recommend. The coffee's great. So on your morning commute or afternoon, uh, definitely check it out. But long-term plan is to redevelop the project into a mixed-use uh, really destination anchored location for the warehouse arts district and the tenants that we're seeking um, could be as small as 1500 square feet up to about 12,000 square feet and really they would fit within the IT or industrial zoning uh, that is present in the warehouse arts district but really what it allows uh, is complementary uses or complementary businesses to those that are in the surrounding uh, properties in the Warehouse Arts District. So anything from the creatives and the arts uh, to the brewery, brewery and distillation uh, businesses, the culinary, uh, we're really seeing a wide variety of tenants take interest and we're really excited about the prospects that we have. Yes, yeah. and so let's talk, and what happens folks is this, is that just, just if you're not in the real estate business, this is just quick down and dirty folks, okay? The bottom line is if you're IT, normally you can't build apartments, okay? But what's happening in St. Pete, is on 22nd, they want to change the zoning, and that's my question would be for you, Brent. So sure. it, it would be cool if it, they changed the zoning also, right? Would that be correct? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, our, our long-term vision is uh, to maintain the general aesthetic where you have uh, retailers and industrial users alike kind of come together and appreciate the uh, architecture of an industrial uh, warehouse use. But in the surrounding parcels, you know, I think the long-term vision is yes, we would love to have the, uh, the zoning change for mixed-use residential, um, where we can kind of serve as that commercial element uh, to, the, to the Warehouse Arts District, inevitably as uh, residential and multifamily continue to grow and expand there. Right, and the odds of this, folks, okay, go up pretty dramatically. I'm gonna tell you a funny story, man. Right, I, 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 my playground is right across the street from you. I build a lot of houses in Palmetto Park, okay? I noticed, yes. You know what's crazy? Listen to this, man. So what happened, folks, is that I was taking down so many trees that I put the trees on the parcel right across from your coffee shop, right? That, that you're talking okay. about, that's, that's my parcels. And what happened, yeah. folks, is the city came, and the city said, you can't do this. I said, you know what? I can do this, but you've got to change the zoning, I says, because that's the last parcel. I put the white fence around it now, but that's the last parcel of industrial. They, the yeah. inspector looked at me, Brent, and says, oh, I don't believe this. I says, yeah. I says, that's why I want to change the zoning, but pretty wild. Hey, yeah, so what, when I'm looking at your website, man, you've got a, you got a lot of um, activity in both the residential and the industrial, so it, it'd be really cool, man. I, I can understand how you want to mesh this, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we find ourselves in a variety of asset classes, just like you mentioned. We own everything from apartments to uh, retail strip centers to industrial warehouses that we both acquire and or develop. Um, so yeah, our, our long-term vision uh, is to continue to expand both in St. Pete and the surrounding Tampa MSA. Uh, and really uh, as a, situ a special situation buyer, um, just like this, where we can kind of come in, provide our expertise and value add, uh, and really benefit both the project, but also the surrounding area, as it's very important to us to kind of mesh and continue the efforts that others have, uh, you know, nearby. And, and you know, it's really great, and I appreciate you coming on. For all our listeners across the country, how, you know, number one, like, what made you come to St. Pete, and then how do you put something together like this, Brent? Yeah, sure. Well, St. Pete, I think we love the we've loved the potential for 
really years. It's taken us about three years to even enter the market. Okay. Um, it's it's a high barrier to entry market, but uh, finally we were able to get a, a deal done here at Seaboard Crossing, and you know why we like it. I, I think the the growth trajectory is, is fantastic. Um, you're seeing a lot of unique companies come to not only the Warehouse Arts District, but um, through downtown and moving west into the Grand Central. We really like the growth pattern there. And then with the exciting news about Tropicana Field, we think, you know, uh, very long term, probably 10 plus years, uh, we think our portion of, of where we acquired will be very attractive. Um, and so, yeah, from a long term investment perspective, which is the capital that we use to fund this project, um, you know, we see it being a collective benefit for everyone involved. Yeah, well, there's no yeah. doubt. Well, well, listen, congratulations. Uh, I, I, there, there's no doubt. You get a great piece of property. Uh, and Thank it's you. great to see someone like yourself come in there because the, the bottom line, uh, when you see, you just Google the Warehouse Arts District, folks, you'll see that the, the parcels that uh, Brent has just got hold of, they're beautiful parcels. And it just takes creativity and, you know, bottom line, some imagination, which I can see from your website, uh, the projects they've done, that you can uh, basically uh, get that baby growing. Uh, so, yeah. You know. Thank you, and we're, we're excited, and just in a few weeks, we'll be able to release some preliminary renderings for what we uh, envision for the site. So, um, you know, please stay tuned as uh, we'll, we'll put them up on our website and elsewhere throughout St. Pete. And we will get a link on our site, man. I Listen, Brent, you. you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on again. Give us an update, okay? Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate man. your time. Have a great one. Have a safe one.